I'm here with the new Kazoo Players Champion, John Higgins. Fresh from a 10-3 win over Ronnie O'Sullivan. John, firstly, congratulations. I am running out of superlatives to use for your play this week, so you sum up that game for us. As I said out there, after getting presented with a trophy, it's, it's the best week in my, my snooker career, I think. Obviously, I've, I've maybe won bigger tournaments, but for the whole week, the way I played and the way I felt, yeah, I've, I've never, I've never felt, felt better than that for all week, so I'm delighted, delighted. Well, I was going to say that. I, I don't personally remember seeing such a dominant display for a whole tournament from, from one player. I mean, you've not looked like losing realistically 6-0, 6-0, 6-1 and then 10-3. Um, the confidence you must be playing with out there right now must be incredible. Brilliant. I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was as if but people say you're in the zone a little bit and I, I would have loved to have played like another another few frames out there. I was really, really enjoying it. And especially you're playing someone like Ronnie as well. I think I think he, he, he went for a lot on the, in the first session and it, it put me off a little bit, I think, because I'm thinking he's going for a hell of a lot of shots here, but he obviously fancied it and that, that's, that's the way he was playing. But uh, to be 6-2 up, brilliant lead for me. And then uh, I was just just hopefully going to like share the next four set four frames and different things, but nah, I played really good tonight. Yeah. You, you played really good all week. I think that's yeah. the understatement of the week, to be honest. We talked yesterday about the technical change that you've made, making the cue tip when you address the ball closer to the cue ball. Given the way you've played this week, are you starting to wish you'd done that a lot sooner? Oh, of course, yeah. I mean. Aye, I mean, I, I, as you say, it's, it's easy in this game to obviously get into little bad habits and that's maybe a little bit of a bad habit that was creeping into my game for, for many years and different things, so uh, that's just the way it is. I've not got a coach, I've not, not got people that can maybe tell me differently, so, but no, I'm, I'm glad I've rectified it now and hopefully I'll stick with it and hopefully it becomes part of my game. Do you think, just, just on that point, do you think if you had have had a coach that might have been spotted sooner and addressed quicker? Yeah, I think so, yeah, because if someone know, knows knows your game really intimately and, and they're, they're maybe beginning to see you're not doing the same things, uh, yeah, I'm sure they could have maybe picked it up on it. Yeah, yeah. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Now, that opens some doors for you. You've confirmed your place in the Tour Championship yeah. now over in uh, at Celtic Manor in Wales at the end of next month and also a place in the Champion of Champions too. Yeah. Obviously, you've got to start to look ahead. The form that you're in from this... You must take loads of confidence into both the Tour Championship and slightly further away, the Crucible. Yeah, yeah, of course I would. I would be, it'd be crazy not to take confidence, obviously after this week. But uh, it's the thing when you're when you're wanting to be a top player, you you're always thinking in like uh, years coming up. And I, I would maybe have a little look at where my ranking was. I was thinking next year I could have been fighting for my top 16 spot. So if you, when you win these big events. It guarantees you that you're, you're still going to be in there competing with the top players. So that's that's what's in my head just now. I'm thinking that's a good win to have, a big tournament, and that will give me confidence, hopefully, going forward. And obviously, we know Stephen Hendry is making his comeback this coming week. Yeah. Is this performance this week just a shot across his bowels that you're Scotland's <laughs> number one? <laughs> I think Stephen Maguire's Scotland's number one in the rankings just now. So uh, I think Stephen, he's down at maybe seven or eight. So listen, that... that with him being here, he's been practising, you see him behind the scenes and he's obviously commentating, he's looking forward to, to playing. It's going to be fascinating to see him against uh, Matt Sell. It's going to be really, I'll be definitely tuning in on Tuesday night yes. and I hope, I hope it goes well for him. Certainly going to be exciting. I've got one more question to ask you before we yeah. let you go, John. Can you get that fifth world title this year? But, well, I've, I've got more of a chance now than I probably would have had before Christmas. Yeah, I mean, people maybe wouldn't have wouldn't have thought I would be one of one of the, the favourites or whatever. But I'm maybe still not one of the favourites. But I, I feel as if I've, I'm, I've got a, I've got a chance now. I think if I go there, that's a big understatement once again. John, congratulations once again, Thanks and we'll see you again very soon. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers, Thank mate. You.